ride. First off, we do not speak of this car ride. Ever. Second, will you please put on some pants? Was the thong too much? Yes, yes it was. <laughs> All right, we're pre-recorded. Pre-recorded. I hate it when people say we're live and it's they're recording. I mean, we're we're obviously live right now, but we're not going to be live when yeah, this yeah. airs. It'll pre be pre previously taped. Oh, for the love of the whole unholy panda bears. All right, this, which is monstrous next to Valor's tiny little head. Look at this. It's way bigger <laughs> than his head. Valor and Zelda are both are both here up in the well, here. Well, Panda Zelda. There she is. And Jupe's her dog. Jupy TV all Jupy all the time. Because what more do you need? Other than Jupy. Yeah. And now this, we're, what we're doing here is, well it's never been done here before. We're videotaping Valor, videotaping me videotaping him. All right, this is known as Satan's Boulette. It's also called a bluing bullet. And when you, let's see. Let me see if I can do this quick. Oh, crap, I didn't do it fast enough. Do you see that? Wow, that's pretty cool. See, it turns blue. Awesome. Are you getting that too, Valor? Uh, turn it my way. I'll cut it again. I'll cut one for the minions. This will be for the minions. It's yellow. And it instantly turns blue. It's a sign of toxicity. Active components that are in here are very unstable. And when they're exposed to oxygen, they uh, take on this beautiful bu blue hue. So what happens if you eat one? Do you trip balls? No. It's not psilocybin that's bluing. I'm not sure what the component is, but it's uh, unlike the magic mushrooms that blue is a sign of the psychotropic chemicals. This is uh, something that will make you sick. Hence the common name, uh, Satan's Boulette. Jupy TV. All Jupy. All the time. Valor's here! Val Valor's here! Hey, Valor, man, how you doing? <laughs> All right, man. Snow Walker 1, I gotta tell you. <laughs> It is an honor to work with oh, you, thank man. You. The thank guy you. who put the pro in protagonist. Yep. Just like Harry Potter. I like magic. Isn't that awesome? That's pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> and because we are hyper aware of our environment, it expresses dermal ridges. Mid-tarsal break right there. It's like a little little mini mini Bigfoot. Proof that Bigfoot is related to raccoon. I, I love proof, so <laughs> undeniable proof is even That's better. proof and evidence right there. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Right, I want you to taste that. Out of the question. Do it for the minion. Yeah, now put it on your tongue, and then swish it around. Not bad, now spit. What? <laughs> All right, and then describe to us what you're, what you're tasting. It tastes like burning, on fire salt. Yeah. That's what it, on fire salt. That's exactly what it tastes like. That is one of the foulest things I've ever, I've that's, ever. That's awesome. Wasabi times a million. Yeah, on fire salt. Yeah, it's like being maced in the mouth. Good Lord, what does that smell like? Describe the smell of that. smell vision Gunpowder throw up poo poo eggs. It's terrible, isn't it? That's really yeah, bad. That, your turn. <laughs> Hey Valor, smell this. I already did, twice. Yeah, Valor will never come to visit ever again. Some mushrooms have that smell and it attracts flies and bugs to help spread the spores. Valor knows what this is. I, I erroneously mistaked it for a uh, sow mushroom, pig mushroom, pig-eared mushroom, woolly chanterelle, but uh, Valor told me I was mistaken. This is actually a Mactoralis uh, latinamicus. Europa! I want to see the flower in your ear, Valor. <laughs> oh, this flower. Jupy TV. All Jupy. All the time. Ten dollars worth of circulated pennies. Okay, there you go. Aren't you excited, Valor? That's a thousand That's, pennies. That is, in fact, a thousand, thousand pennies, yeah. yeah. Don't you feel important? They had to go to the vault for us. The vault. That was like a sigh. Exasperation. We've been doing this all night. An ex exasperated sigh. How dare you? I'm cutting you in on, the, on, my, on my copper millions. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> Figure it out. I'm paying a penny a piece and they're worth, where they're worth 2.5 pennies. That's You're it. almost tripling your money. That's a 150% increase. And look at the free labor. Okay, now next week Just I want you to drive the 12 hours all the way from Pennsylvania to come to Maine to help me go. I'm going to get some more pennies and now it's going to come up and help me. Right, Bella? Um, sure. Yeah. Just made a penny and a half. I need a month another penny and a half. And another penny and a half. Okay, we just lost money on that one. We're gonna return the zinc ones though for our money back. And then go to another bank and buy rolls of pennies. That's right. Them. And I might actually go into getting nickels because uh, the nickels are worth seven cents. And nickel is the only coinage that I'm aware of that's actually named after metal. Other than although pennies used to be called coppers, I really think the money should be worth the intrinsic, 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 intrinsic. Add it to the list. Add it to the list of. <laughs> Add it to the list of words that Snow Walker can't say. Actually? Actually, we're going to have a game show here shortly. Philanthropist. Flamanth philanthropist. Flamingo? I can say flamingo. It's the oldest coin that we found. 1919. Stunning. 1919. I wonder how rare that is. That's probably worth big bucks. Okay, so your $50 bill. Uh, what's the date on it? 1930. 1934. And you said something interesting in your video. What did you say? That I could buy a whole bunch of crap. Exactly. And so I actually took the time to research how much crap you could buy in 1934 with a $50 bill. And if you would exchange the $50 bill for silver dollars, the silver contained in those silver dollars right now would be worth $1,500. And had you exchanged it for $5 gold pieces of the period, you'd have over two ounces of gold worth over $4,000. Oh, there was a winner. That fell to the floor. So you could have bought at least $4,000 worth of crap. Today. Well, today, if you'd exchange it for gold, in 1934. So are you guys going to exchange this for gold, this penny? No, we're going to we're going to melt this down. Uh, Valor made that's me promise illegal. to melt this. Well, no, I'm not melting it down to sell for scrap. I'm melting it down to make an effigy of Valor. Valor? Yeah. Oh. yeah. And I'm not going to call you. What do you like to be called? Um. The colonel works. I'm not saying it. What else are you guys going to do tomorrow? It's on a need-to-know basis. Oh. And you don't need to know. It's top secret. We're only going to talk about that in the super villain lair. In the back of the world. It'll come up when, when we actually have the super villain lair established. I'll make a place of honor in the corner for you, Valor. Where are you going to put the toilet, isn't it? I'll have you sit off to the side in the flying boat once I get it constructed. Which KV doesn't think I'm going to build, but nope. she's going to see how wrong Wait, it's going to be. Wait, Peyton. I'm trying to spell booze. <laughs> 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 he doesn't drink. Laugh it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh it up. Go ahead. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> just a shadow of your former self. I know, it's spooky. It yeah, looks really spooky. It is spooky. There. Okay, so I think we've determined that Ouija boards do not work for atheists. This my ah! <laughs> Charlatan. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you fucker. We're going to settle this like men, Snow Walker. With a dance off. Jupy TV. All Jupy. All the time. Dance off. Dance off. Begin. How can he win? He wasn't, I wasn't even in, he wasn't even in the dance off. Fatality.